Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Honeywell and we're playing Surviving the Aftermath. In the last episode, we moved out of our emergency shelters, uh, started to produce electricity and parts, which was very nice. And we also picked up our fourth specialist, I believe. Yes, Salt. Salt is now with us. And uh, really we're waiting to get some components back to the colony so we can uh, move forward. We have the research that we need for lots of nice stuff. Uh, we can clean up the toxic waste and we've unlocked all the way down to industrial mining, yeah. So components is what we need, components it is. Where are we gonna put our environmental station? We should probably do an assessment of the colony as well. Uh, we have 30 people and not enough first aid tents. I kind of like around 20% of the population should have beds. I've found, I'm not sure if that number works out um, with higher uh, populations, but as long as the population is pretty small, like having 20% 20 20 beds in place for any disasters seems to work out really nice. So if we have 30 people, we'd probably want two more tents. We have double the water, which is good. Um, I don't know. You tell me. Come down here. Oh, did I just waste a turn? Figures. Uh, Pink Man, you have all of our components. What is the fastest way to get you home? Where is home? Home is over here. You know, we're just going to bring him. It's so tempting to have him like loop around and come back home, but I think it would be a lot quicker just to have him backtrack. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, yes. Good job. Bonnie? We need components. We'll have him kill these three guys and I think maybe go after these components first. No, we'll have him kill him, then get these components and bring them back. Yes, that's what we'll do. Uh, so we'd probably want an another couple first aid huts. We're still a while away from the medical center. Do you guys wanna see the reinforced gate? I don't really like it, but it's something. Here is our car gate. Wait, is this a waste of points? Or should we just get, let's just get battery stacking. Because if we, I want to go down this tree for medical centers, but we're gonna need batteries in order to uh, use the medical huts anyway, because uh, they take power, so yeah. So let's just finish this off and uh, we'll do the gate another time. So what did we decide? We need another two medical tents to be ready for a disaster. Um, we have housing for what, five tenements? So we have housing for 40 people. How about we get ready for that? Let's do, let's put in two more, two more first aid huts. No, let's not. Because what if we can put in medical tents? This would be a waste, right? Let's put in some more wells. So that way when we get a group of people, we'll be ready for that. It's exciting stuff, right?
It looks like we're working over here. I don't know. None of these seem all that great, though, to me. Eight. Let's see if we find another spot. Five. That's not looking very good. There's an 11. A 12. Let's put in another well over here. And... Do we have any roads coming out this way? We do. So let's just uh, continue on with the roads. Oh, and that works out because there's another metal pile. Right? Right. Works for me. Okay. You coming home, Pink Man? Bonnie was our fighter, wasn't she? Well, there you go, Bonnie. You'll be uh Rich. Components. Components. Let's not lose the plot. There we go. So we have another well. Let's see to bring ourselves back to the colony. Um, so we're holding off on first aid tents because we might just be able to move right into medical tents. Um, food. Food, I believe this is going up, but what can we do here? Well, first of all, we're putting corn in this hut, which means that we're probably using corn in our cookhouse. So I think what we can do really quick just to produce a little bit more food without changing a thing, almost, let's put potatoes in these first two fields. Uh, potatoes have a medium yield, so we produce more potatoes. And let's change these two fields to corn. We have a medium field over here, so just making that one small change, we started to produce a little bit more food. Um, we have seven people, so maybe we can go ahead and put in this fishing dock down here. Yeah, let's do that. We can do that. And the only reason why we're doing this is uh, to have some trade goods. 100% sure. Storage. Yes, please. Let's see if we can get somebody home. Uh, yeah, it's not working really working out for us. Where are you at? You do not need fun boxes. I am Bonnie. Good job, 27. That is good. It's better than nothing and we'll probably get them home sooner than we get a uh, pink man home with his supply um so now we have even a bigger buffer on our water uh we've talked about this haven't we i can't remember uh but we're opting to put in more wells to double our water supply so we have 30 people so we want to prove be producing at least 30 excess um, but we also you know we want to be mindful of the concrete situation so I like to have a bit of a buffer that way that way we're ready 
and if supplies are uh, slim. I kind of like, how about we put our environmental station, oh, pandemic. Well, I guess we're gonna be building first aid huts. And we have double the water, so we don't have to worry about that. But we do need to put in some more first aid huts. And let's see. Do we just want, I know I left a little road here. Do we just want to kind of like a, do this? Yep. We have 30 people. 20% of that is exactly six beds, so. So yeah, and then we also have our burial pit over here if that is gonna cause problems. Like I don't, and you know what else we could do? Let's put a second person in this medical tent and we'll keep two people in this one at all times. Oh no, oh, it sounds like a party. Now, do we let everybody in and be sick? We still have two days, so I say we do. Let them in and have colonists join the party, please. And they brought 20 meat for us, 15 happiness. Thanks for stopping by guys, you're always welcome. And they should get all healed up before the, before the disaster. Um, I kind of like this spot right here because this is gonna be like a dead spot anyway because we can't put machines on that fertile ground. So I like that. Oh, let's have, let's have our cookhouse come out here and take out all these berries and then we'll just run this road up to here put in our environmental station somewhere along that and maybe put in a road to our fishing whatever fishing hut oh well, we have a road out here Did I miss these people? Like you can't change the, there we go. Good job, Bonnie. Oh, nice, science. Oh, good, 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 good. Put in a diagonal road right across here. I'm not sure if we're gonna run into these piles or that ruin, but we're not gonna be building out here for a long time, so. Three colonists are infected. Oh, that's right, we had a party. It happens, don't judge. Where were we building to? Oh, this is where we wanted our, yikes. Uh, well, I guess we can just, keep going here. Sure, or please. Uh, a diagonal road tool would be really nice. And then as soon as they get these berries out of here, 
I'm thinking if I already have somebody in that fishing hut, and then we can butt up our environmental station right there somehow. Yeah, that's good. Oh, we have our medical huts. We don't need people in these ones right now. Go build roads. Go build roads, guys. Uh, for you to come here. Oh, nice. So we have two sciences now. 428. And we don't have, know how much Bonnie has. Although, really, science isn't the holdup right now. It's electricity we need to get working on. So you, you are... Would it be quicker? <laughs> I'm uh, debating about whether it'd be quicker to uh, just get home or uh, explore a little bit on our way back. Okay, we have the pandemic on the way, but we're good. We have our first aid tents. Environmental station is what we're working on. Nobody's out here, but we already have two fish. Let's, let's put two people in this hut. That way it'll increase the chance something will happen. Uh, search the wagon and you can and we'll even arm you with uh, two planks because we're generous like that two tools and 12 metal yes please we're doing good on the coats and metal in an ideal situation we'd like um, enough tools and coats for our entire population which you know when we only have 30 people we can do so yeah that's good are we bringing in the goods no, we are not. Um, let's... Do we have roads out here? Uh, since we have a road... Do we already have a road built to this one? Yeah. Let's have somebody go out there. We'll bring in some more planks and concrete. Keep those coming in. Is the... Let's unallow plastic on that. Plastic can't go there either. You're allowed to put plastic there. Are you need some more? We have tons of firewood. Let's um. Let's make you go out here. We don't need that very quickly. We should probably look into putting. Are you guys kidding me? Like, like what are you doing? If these people die, I don't think it's my fault. I think, you know. Science, please. Yikes. How much did she, 20? Okay, that's nothing. It's fine. This is slowing us down because, yeah, that was a mistake. And another 464 science? I mean, it's not a lot, but it's, you know, it adds up. You know what, start making your way home. Getting just those 20 components in, like as quick as possible would you know, that would actually do a lot for us. Because then we could start getting this toxic waste cleaned up. Yeah. And didn't we have another one? Just, just went off to die somewhere, I guess. Pandemic's almost here, so let's put those people back in the hut and we wanted these berries cleared out 
so we could finish the road. Do we even need, well, yeah, I do want those berries because then we can, you know, have everything line up neat and tidy. Pandemic. And let's take you off there and let's put two people in these huts and we'll get them in there now. That way everyone should be able to go be treated. Thanks. Signs from you, Bonnie. Oh, survivors. Oh, with a specialist. Well, we're going to take you. Scavenging and research. You know, just more people on the map. We really kind of want, like, attack, but, yeah. Absolutely, except. Sorry you came at a bad time. You're going to get sick, but that's all right. Now, we really don't have enough. Well, it's not that bad. We could probably use another first aid hut, but I'm not going to put it in. Because, yeah. It is what it is. There's still a bed spot over here, so it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Look at this snack of specialists we have now. Uh, what are you? Scavenging and research. Um, well, start bringing in components for us. We have a nice stay safe stack of components down here, too. Yeah, that works. Berries were depleted. Good. And where is this hut at? Let's move this so they get these berries, because these are the ones that are in the way. Did you pick up all your research? Do we just, this is all, this looks like all lake. Let's bring her down this way. Cause this looks like more land. I want you to go home. More science. Oops, sorry, Bonnie. Oh, oh, sorry, Bonnie. And finally, some components. And now we're just waiting for this berry bush. <laughs> One more berry, guys. And what are we going to do? We also need... We need um, more power, too, to run this stuff. And 12 volts. Yes. Let's, um, let's add a wind turbine over here. Which way is that facing? go. This is probably my favorite mesh in this whole game is these turbines. So we have that going in. Did specialist pop? Uh, this guy did. Uh, you know what? You can, even though you're not a fighter, maybe you'll turn out to be another porter. I don't even know this guy's name. What is your name? Satoshi? Your scientist, Satoshi? Uh, we're getting a lot of... Uh, ten people are infected. Two. Like, this tent's still empty, though. 
so oh there's one well if you don't want to visit these tents you can visit this tent so uh make up your mind oh good now the berries are gone let's get in our environmental station and do we just want to tuck it off to the side like this I don't like the way that looks. Am I gonna be like stupid about this? Apparently I am. Are people ready? They are. Would you like to pick up some components too? Come home. Bonnie, how much are you getting blown up for over here? 20 a pop? I don't know. How much she, is she taking? If it's 30 damage, she could die. Don't die, Bonnie. <laughs> You leave the show another day. And you have dropped off all of your components. Get back out there. Go pick those up. Things are happening. materials what are we short on didn't someone just didn't I just bring somebody home with like a gazillion components ah oh, I messed up go hunt <laughs> way to bring back some berries you need new a new work area sure come over here and do we have a rogue Make that a little bit easier for you guys. And let's see if we can get some components. Uh, no. Yeah. We need this. Oh, I only had him pick up a small amount, just enough to uh, get us started. Okay, I see. Press your luck, Bonnie, one more time. If I kill Bonnie, I'm gonna be pretty upset with myself. But that should only be dealing 20 damage to her, so yeah. Good job. What was that, medicine? Yeah. Uh, Components. Yeah. Now we have 60 components, and that should be plenty. We have power during the day now. We have what we need for our environmental station. Um, do we want to put in a battery pack while we're producing some extra power right now? I think we do. Let's plop one in right back here. Now these large battery packs, I have like rules of thumb for everything. And these seem to, I mean, I haven't really, you know, done any work on this. 
just observing it. And they seem to um, to drain down about 100 ticks a day. So if a disaster was lasting two days and this stores 500 power, um, it can consume, you can have like a negative energy balance of about 25. If a disaster only lasts one day, you could have like a negative energy balance of 50. I'm not sure how long the electrical storms last. Uh, I guess you're going to... Uh, Come down here. Hold your breath, Bonnie. It was, <laughs> it was 20. Bonnie needs to come home. Like, why is this icon still showing up there, but there are zero components? That's kind of annoying. Salt only has an attack of two. Uh, and we're going to go all in on our environmental thing. And where do we want to clear out first? Now, I really think we need another cookhouse. Because if you look right here, this food storage bin is empty. And I think we need another cookhouse to keep up with demand and to keep people out of our raw crops. You can see this person right over here. He's going to eat our corn. So I think we want to clean up that pile first is what I think. No, this pile first. Clean that up. Ah, big business is here. Just in time before they eat all our corn. Uh, we don't have 51 metal, that's a shame. We don't have 64 concrete. We don't have 51 junk. You know what that tells me? We need more supplies. What else do you have? 52 potatoes for seven medicine. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, big business. And our sawmill. I guess, you know what else we should do? We should probably think about foresters too. Nice, we have our battery pack. And 956 science. All that science really added up. I wasn't expect expecting that. Uh, reinforced gate. Let's do that. I really don't like this uh, mesh that much, but. Oh, and we can go all the way down to the medical center. This is perfect. So we, we unlocked the security uh, tree. So we're going to have these nice uh, tents that treat six people. And here is the reinforced gate. It just automatically does it on its own. Is that a nice thing? I'm not sure. Kate, it's looking like death for you. No danger. Bonnie, you need to go home. Is that everybody? It is. So we're in pretty good shape here. Uh, day 45. We're cleaning up our toxic waste. We have a massive uh, five specialists and do we wanna keep going? I guess we can. Let's see if we can get this. Now there is, there is like new storage facilities. I mean, 
so I should probably put them in. Um, but just like the plastic, I mean, if you don't give them a place to store it, they don't stop producing. They just stop, they just leave it on the ground. So, like, I'm not in any hurry to, uh, to start putting in. What specialized storage is it? Uh, these nuclear waste storages? Well, I mean, once they put in a use for this stuff, I mean, I'd want to store it up. But for right now, I think I'm just going to leave it collect on the map. And, oh. Stop it. Well, I guess we're taking you in because we want Dafina. Who is another, just an all-around person. Yeah, welcome to the colony. How many specialists is that now? Oh, four people are homeless. Oh, let's, uh, let's take care of that. I think we're going to go ahead and get everybody settled in. We'll, like, reassess the colony. Um, do we just want to put in, wait. Let's have this facing the other way. Let's have it facing this side road. Oh, it doesn't have a side road there. Well, it's going to have a side road there. That is going to house them. We need more water. And we just had a disaster. We could probably use more forced aid tents, too. I am. You are a fighter. So go fight. Bonnie, you are like time to come home. You explore. You gather. You can do it all. Um, oh, that's really nice. She looks like she has a lot of movement points. Okay, so people are about to not be homeless. Oh, it looks like that toxic waste is cleaned up. Good. Um... Do you know where else we should clean up? Let's clean up over here because we can fit in uh, more farm fields over here if we do. I don't think we need to, but let's clean up our, our farming area. And if we're doing that, let's have, let's have them clean up this plastic pile instead. And let's give you a second person. And let's give you a second person and you a second person. Oh, I still have these tents fully manned, which we do not need. One each. Let's definitely put in another cookhouse, because that's what we were cleaning this area for. Is that right? Now I tried to leave, I wanted to leave like three spaces in between the housing and like these cookhouses and stuff. Uh, because I thought we could put like little street lights or bushes along those is what I was thinking. But I still don't know like how to make something nice out of this, so. Here we go. And should put in another one just for good measure. And now let's, we need more water. Where was our last well? We have two over there. I think we started on this section. That's eight. Oh, that's 10. Okay. 
Okay, so 10 of these. Oh, and here's an 11. Perfect. So that's another 20 water coming in, which is good. And do we want to put in... We'll wait for our next disaster and then we'll put in our medical tents. There's no reason to right now. Oh, we also have these little maintenance depots. Our field hospital. They take uh, four power. So we can wait on that. I think. And you know what? Let's just finish off this block. This housing block. I like that. We have nine carriers. Do we have two people down here? We do. How much fish do we have? 29 fish. That's not very much. I bet you they're eating this fish. And why aren't you taking this road, which is telling me that this road is not doing its job. So let's make a little zigzag road here. I guess that answers the question whether or not like these like little stepping stone paths count as like give a speed boost and I guess they don't because otherwise why wouldn't that person have path along this road do you know what I mean so Now you will have a little path or path. I can. It's too many specialists. I cannot keep up. Go home, Bonnie. I can go explore. Oh, nice components. More components. And I guess we were sending you up there. There we go. We have a little uh, scriggly dead end road going in <laughs> to nowhere. I think this was a, a good, a good bit. Oh, we have more people at the gate. Let's slow this down so we can end the episode. What do you have? Uh, we don't have. Oh, see, now this isn't right. We have fiber. Come on. Uh, do we want antibiotics? No, we don't. But we do need to see what's going on with our storage that we don't have. We have nine people. Do you think, uh, my storage settings are messing, are messing with things? That nobody has put the plastic in the, oh, we have stuff laying around everywhere. You know, I saw people complaining about this on the forums that they had people just stopped putting stuff into storage and I'm wondering what is going on with that. Yeah. And like like look at your pathing. Like you were going to build a well and then you're coming down here and you're hungry. So you're going to come all the way over here to eat fish? Is that what is happening? Yep. <laughs> they're coming out here to eat because they're hungry. I, I just don't understand that. Well, there's not very many meals here. Uh, but you know what? We'll figure out the mysteries of uh, what is going on with this game another time. We'll put in another stockpile. Hopefully, I mean, they're just 
they're just dropping stuff everywhere. So maybe we can, uh, when we reload the game, maybe they'll start doing what they're supposed to be doing. Because I, I mean, honestly, I think there's probably something, something not right is happening with the game right now, I think. Could be wrong, though. Uh, but we have a few carriers. And I don't know, it just seems... There we go. What were the restrictions that I put on these? Yeah, just the only thing I disallowed was plastic. Either or, we will figure it out another day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, I hope you'll come back for the next one. Until then, bye-bye.